Hi, I'm Katie Rodriguez. And I'm Valerie Foster. And we're with the Natural Sciences Division, where we're working hard to break down walls and build innovative learning environments. In our division, we're doing such things as flipping our classrooms, building studio learning centers, and even moving entire classes outdoors to take advantage of the environment around us and inspire students to take up careers in science and environmental education. I've been fortunate enough to have dedicated space for a biology studio this last year. Uh, a colleague of mine and I uh, employ a problem-based approach to our, our majors program and uh, we ask our students to work on projects and discuss papers and this is really like the flipped classroom where they prepare for these things by reading their book or, or listening to lectures online prior to coming to class. So we're using class time for comprehension and analysis and synthesis. The studio uh, necessitates a different infrastructure to get students out of the traditional uh, expectations of a college classroom. Instead of desks that are all lined up, we have round tables, students are sitting around them, they're interacting, uh, we have stations around the room where their permanent projects are set up, they can come in and work on them at their leisure. There's a lounge area where students can eat and talk with each other and study and even interact with the faculty. So it's a completely different vibe than, than most of the, the campus. One of the other great things we're doing is we really looked at what our students needed and we have a lot of students that are choosing careers in nursing and physician's assistants and other careers in the health sciences. And so we looked at a lot of these students and saw the frustration as they spent years here trying to get the proper prerequisites to get into programs. And we said, okay, well what can we do to solve this problem? So we designed a fully interdisciplinary pathway that allows students in three semesters to complete all of the necessary prerequisites for most allied health programs. And so in this sequence, students will be taking English classes and psychology and science classes all simultaneously. And in each one of these blocks, the themes will stretch across the different courses. So for example, they might be taking anatomy, English, and psychology all together, and they might be looking at aging and the brain and seeing how the brain changes as we age. In psychology, they might be discussing the behavioral changes that occur with that. So that students are really seeing that not only is the material they're learning in a class important, but how it applies and how just because you're in a class, it doesn't mean it stops there and it really stretches between the different courses. Because they're taking so many science classes at one time, we've implemented a supplemental instruction program where students are able to attend sessions with a peer mentor that guides them through different activities to help them really master the material. All of this innovation we're doing in the natural sciences made us an excellent candidate to receive a substantial grant. And in fact, last year PCC received a grant for what is known as the eSTEM program. So it's environmental science, technology, and math. And so with this grant money, we've been able to spur even more innovation. So that's what we're currently involved in. Uh, we are meeting to, to figure out ways to tackle the objectives of the grant. Um, the, the focus of the grant is on Hispanic student success in the sciences and we're partnering with Cal Poly Pomona. So currently we're focused on curriculum redesign. Uh, we're talking with Cal Poly to figure out uh, research that we can have our students go and do and actually be involved with science. Uh, we're also discussing interdisciplinary modules here at PCC. I'm currently working with chemistry faculty to try to figure out projects that students can do that integrate both biology and chemistry at the same time and they can actually make a connection between the classes that they have to take. Um, Katie is involved with a Bio 11 redesign. She's also employing a problem-based approach and has designed a cool forensics lab where you know non-majors are figuring out who did it and her retention rates are skyrocketing because of it. And so uh, we have a lot of really cool things going on uh, in the Natural Sciences Division.